What's up YouTube? Well, I finally decided to go ahead and film my Clipper lighter review. Now I have two here. This is my original one. And again, guys, I, I apologize about the lighting behind me. I, I didn't realize that the sun was gonna be setting. Granted, it's behind clouds, but uh, it's kind of a little bit irritating. Just a little bit though. But um, also, if you're wondering why I'm in a suit, um, I've been applying at jobs today so and on the way back that's actually where I got this clipper lighter and I want to actually discuss a couple of the differences that I've noticed with this clipper lighter versus this clipper lighter they're the same size and everything but um, I'll compare them along as we uh, go along in the review but um, so honestly guys my review of this lighter is eh fair because sometimes, and this is one thing that I've noticed about these lighters, I mean, at least for me, they've lit, or, you know, they light every single time, like as soon as I light them. However, with this one, sometimes the flame, for whatever reason, is low. And I don't understand, like it's lower than this one that I just purchased. And I don't really understand why that exactly is. Like I haven't come up with any explanation to it other than like I've just been smoking so much because I've been smoking a lot recently that I just have to fill it up a little bit every so often because as and that's one downside to these to a Zippo like even if your Zippo is low on fluid you're still gonna have a fairly decent flame at least when you first light it now as you like if you're lighting it and your Zippo's lit and it's burning for a while the wick and the the flame height is going to go down but with these like once they're about past here filled with um butane which i've had it filled with or that low once your flame is going to be really really low and i was that's why i was like what the fuck is wrong with my uh, clipper lighter until i realized oh okay that's the reason and uh, when i refilled it today i actually did Technically, well, I don't really think it's overfilling because like when I said in my update video um, Why it was hissing all the time like when I filled it on my first impressions Like it was almost completely full then. I mean I had been using it a good bit, but it was almost completely full then but um, Yeah So if you like fill it up to the point where it's all the way filled with butane and there's not any or oxygen or whatever because you can hear the oxygen hissing out as the butane is going in on these lighters if you fill it up enough it's just gonna have that ridiculously big flame which honestly i kind of like a big flame on my lighter just because i'm used to a zippo so these flames are kind of tiny to me but um some other features of the lighter, like I uh, mentioned in my video previously on clippers, this comes out and you can unscrew this, which I'm not going to do right now because they're a pain in the fucking ass to get back in there. I'll tell you, compared to a Zippo, these are a fucking pain to put them back in there. But um, yeah, this one though, and this is something that I wanna talk about, um, marketing wise, these ones are actually meant to be sold in America. I mean, obviously, because it has the American flag. However, it says at the bottom, Clipper Lighters US. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, I've completely fucked up this back here, but oh well. I don't know if it'll focus. Maybe I can get it to focus. I wanna focus. Okay, you're, you're not gonna be able to see that in this lighting. But this one says clipperlighter.eu instead of US. And it also has the chrome top because for whatever reason, most of the tobacco stores here, and let me fix this real quick. Um, okay, that's a little too dark. Yeah, there we go. This one right here, for whatever reason in the United States, I have a hard time finding these with the chrome or the chromed out um, wind cap or no, no it's not a wind cap a wind guard or a flame guard whatever you want to call it most of the ones here as a matter of fact this again this is the first clipper I ever bought they I've only ever seen ones with 
black, like even in the full size. And today, actually, I wasn't trying to buy this lighter today. I actually was looking at all the smoke shops that I have um, in my area, which there's four of that I know of. And I was trying to find a raw lighter or a um, raw papers, you know, the rolling papers version, which that version does have the uh, black versus the chrome, but I don't mind. I just want to have a raw lighter. I think it'd be cool to have. But um, there was only one place that had raw clipper lighters, and they actually were twice, or not twice the size, they were half the size of these, because I had this one in my pocket today when I went into that tobacco store before I went to the other tobacco store where I got this one, and I picked it up, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, they got the raw clipper lighters, and I picked it up, and I was like, wait a minute, and it was like only like that tall in my hand and I was like wait a minute what the hell's going on here so I stuck my hand in my pocket and pulled this one out and put them next to each other and sure enough um the one that uh, they did have that were raw clipper lighters were their little mini lighters they were literally only about this big and I almost bought it just to have one just for you know kind of almost like a comedy thing because I don't see why anyone would want a lighter that tiny but um I decided not to just because I was like, well, I can go on eBay and just uh, order a full-sized raw lighter clipper. But, you know, but again, you can replace the flints on these and you can refill them with butane and shit like that. So, and another thing that I like about this one with the peace sign on it that I got, I mean, I really didn't want to get any of the hippie type ones that they had, but they all had the chrome Top, and I'm a very f big fan of the uh, chrome versus the black so all they had were different like tie-dye ones at that tobacco store and hippie like peace ones like you know stoner zippos basically or not zippos uh, clippers sorry I am messing this review up uh, so badly guys I apologize for that but what I like about this one is it actually says on there eco friggin friendly High use of recycled materials, three times more durable, don't throw me out, I'm refillable, reflintable, and I'm collectible too. I, I really don't see these being collectible to me, being a Zippo collector mainly, just because, like, they're a dime a dozen. Like, you can literally order these in fucking bulk, and you can get them for under a dollar if you order, like, ten of them on eBay or something. So, uh, I don't really see these as collectible, but I do see these as a extremely good value for the money. Like, I am serious. To be honest, guys, don't even fuck with Bic. Don't even, like, well, I mean, I, I, I really can't say that. I mean, Bic is, to an extent, a good lighter, but I mean, they're just, like, you're paying, like, a dollar or whatever the hell it is for a Bic lighter, and you can only use it once. You can't refill it. You can't. You can't reuse it so i mean you know they're they're really i don't see any point in owning a bic anymore like when i was younger uh before 14 before i actually got into zippos i was you know i always used bic lighters for anything i was doing but i mean now that i have found a zippo and now the in my opinion the best second to a zippo that is butane and the best bang for your buck made in spain and not china would be a clipper lighter because they're eco-friendly just like a zippo is because a zippo you don't toss a zippo away you don't toss these away either you refill them so to me these are a huge bang for your buck and um yeah that's going to be the review um honestly out of 10 i would give these a good solid 7.5 out of 10. they're not like a zippo that's like a 9.5 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 because of their warranty these don't come with any warranty however their metal clipper lighters, which I have one coming in the mail, it'll be here by the end of the week or beginning of next week, those do have a warranty. I think it's like an, either a 10-year warranty or a two-year. I think it's a two-year, but um, anyway, yeah, guys. So in my honest opinion, a fair review out of 10 for these lighters is a good 7, maybe 7.5 out of 10. That might be a little high because, again, downsides... 
they're not windproof at all. They're just like a Bic in that respect where they are not windproof. They're not gonna, you know, sit there. I mean, it's kind of a slight breeze right now and that's why it's going like that. But anything more than that, it's just gonna go out immediately. So, you know, you have to, when you're lighting a cigarette, put your hand around it, stuff like that. But um, yeah, guys, that's gonna be the video. I have another video coming later today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wait till later tonight or not to film it, but that video is gonna be what you guys see first, so. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps. And um, final words on this is it's 100% better than a Bic because Bic lighters are wasteful and they wind up getting tossed in the trash, so to me, much bigger bang for your buck and 100% better than a big. Anyway, so if you guys like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything you do helps, and I'll see you next time.